Okay. Hola, bonjour, je m'appelle Matthew. I'm learning French. I'm trying to. Probably not going to happen, but I'll do my best. Um, today I'm going to be discussing integration by parts, and hopefully I can make it a bit easier for you. And I want to show you how to derive it so you don't have to memorize it, because it's really stupid to memorize shit. You should just, yeah, I don't know. It's just, so it's not what I do. It's how I do. So firstly, what is integration by parts? Well, integration by parts is nothing but another method to integrate with. If you're having trouble integrating something, maybe substitution does not work, maybe partial fractions don't work, maybe you haven't learned partial fractions, so you don't know what that is, but maybe all these random methods do not work, so you have to use integration by parts. And you'll see, after doing lots of practice problems, there's actually special cases for them, or for integration by parts to come in. And, but first, I'll show you how to derive it. So let's say you had a function v and you had a function u, all right? And you're just like, let's differentiate these bad boys. Let's just see what happens. So when you differentiate these guys, you have to use chain rule, remember? So the first term will be v prime times u plus v times u prime. And this prime just represents the derivative. Um, I don't know if you've maybe you've never seen the notation. I could have wrote it. Uh, I could have wrote dv over dx instead as the first derivative. But I don't know. That's just it's quicker, easier that way. So now maybe I was just stupid and I was like, now I want to get v dot u again, v times u again. So let's reintegrate it. Not reintegrate, but let's integrate it. Because I just took the, der <laughs> the derivative of it, and now I want it back. Because I'm dumb. I don't know why I'm describing it like this. So basically, we integrate this side, and we integrate all the sides. You integrate everything, because it stays equivalent that way. So here, you see integration of the derivative here while well, you differentiate it and then you integrate it again so then you go back up to where you were which is v times u and that's just equal to well v prime dot u we have no idea what these integrals are but we do know their form and let's bring one of these to the other side and solve let's say we'll solve for this one doesn't matter which one you solve for, and you'll see. So let's just solve for this one. So we get v prime times u dx is equal to v times u minus, because we're bringing this one to the other side, right? Minus integral of v dot u prime dx, correct? Okay, and guess what? We're done deriving integration by parts. That's literally as easy as it gets. This is the special formula. So basically what it's saying is if you, if you had a function, I'll show you an example, maybe it'll make more sense. So let's say it was x ln x. So i.e., in other words, if you had x ln ln x, okay, you had x ln x. Let's just say this guy right here was our v prime, and this one was our u, right? So that's all it's saying. It's like, there's this, I wanna take the, oh, and I also wanted to take the integral of this, of course. So I wanted to take the integral of this guy. And the integral of this guy is just equal to, well, v times u, like you can see it yourself. And this is our v prime. So we're gonna have to integrate our v prime, which is just, so, v prime was just x, then we have to integrate x to get our v, and then our ln of x was just our u, so we put our u here, minus, and we already had our v, so we put it here, and then times the derivative of u, and the derivative of u is the derivative of ln x, and we put it here. Does that make sense? I'll write it out for you. So.
So, let's do the example what I just showed you. Nine x, and we want to take the integral of this, and we are like, I don't know what it is. Well, you're in luck because I do. Actually, no, because you have this special formula, and the special formula can work wonders. So let's do it. So let's say our v prime is equal to x, and then our u was equal to ln of x. So here later on, we're going to have to know we're going to have to know what u is. We only have u. Er, sorry, we're going to have to know what v is. We only have v prime. So let's integrate v prime. Let's integrate v prime to get v, but the integration of v prime is nothing but x right here. So this is just equal to x squared over 2. You should know how to do that. And then here, in this spot here, we're going to have to know what the derivative of v u is. And u prime. So the derivative of u is just 1 over x, because that's the derivative of ln x, right? Now we just use our special formula that we derived earlier, okay? Now v is x squared over 2, u is equal to ln x minus integral, minus is very important, people do forget it. Don't forget it, it's not plus, minus minus v, which is x squared over 2, times r u prime 1 over x. And look at that. Look, those x's can cancel. How nicely. So let's carry it on down over here. So it's equal to x long. Just copying down this part. And then... I don't know why I did plus, minus. X's cancel here, so then you just have with x over two, dx, and this is just equal to x squared over two on x minus, integrate this, so it's x squared over two times two, and you're done. So that right there is the integral of x times ln x is equal to this. Now, try doing this with integ sorry, try doing this with a u substitution. I guarantee you cannot do it. It's not a powerful enough tool to do it. So you have to do it integration by parts. And you'll pick up on the pattern, okay? So for instance, um, like, I just, I'll show you this, okay? So if you were to instead, in this example here, all right here. So if you were instead, let's say your V prime, because we're following this, this formula, right? So what if instead your V prime was not your X? Let's say we were like, let's call our V prime ln of X, because realistically it doesn't matter which one you call it right because it's this product of the two you don't know which one's which you define which one's which and then our u would just be x so now well then our u or sorry our v would be the integral of ln x because we're integrating our v prime and i don't i don't know what the integral of ln x is but <laughs> Funny enough, you can use integration by parts, okay? Because there's a hidden one out front there, correct? These two are still equivalent. I don't know if I even should show you this. I think it's kind of cool. So now, let's call this one our V prime, and then our U, our ln X. So what happens to our V now? Well, integral of V prime, well, integral of 1 is just equal to x. And then we're going to have to know what... We're going to have to know what our u prime is. So that's the derivative of u. 
and the derivative of ln x, so 1 over x. So now, so basically, what just happened is we're, we tried to integrate by parts, but we did it wrong because now we're, because now, because I guess I, I should have called these a different variable name because these are destined just to this guy. These variables were for this integral here. It's just kind of like a sub integral because what we did was integrated v prime because we're looking for our v here for this integral here. But I don't know what the integral of ln x is. I don't, maybe you do. I'm not smart enough to know that. So I'm going to use integration by parts to find this integral. So our v prime is this one, our u is ln of x, so then v is equal to x, u prime is equal to one over x, and then we could follow the same formula. So then we get x times ln of x minus, okay, and now it's, one over x times x, which is equal to one. And then that's equal to ln x minus these cancel. That's one, and then you're integrating one minus x. That's a mess. I'm sorry. But basically, what I'm trying to show you is there's a right way to do it, and there's a wrong way to do it. Not necessarily a wrong way, but just a longer way. Just like in just everything you do in calculus, you can do it quicker. You can do it shorter. But if you just stay with and plug and like just grind through it, it'll generally get the right answer. But you could have definitely stopped watching by now. All I wanted to show you is how to derive this. It's really freaking easy. Have a good night. Thank you for watching. Hopefully that made sense. I don't know.